guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is one of a couple of pours where I wound up not having, not recorded the video of uh, the whole process or the introduction. Um, at any rate, uh, that's one thing that happened with this. Uh, the other thing that happened um, is um, I had some trouble with that beautiful prism pour purple color. Uh, it, it broke up everywhere and I had to hand paint in several areas. So this is hand painted, well, just, you know, in a lot of places. <laughs> it's just kind of not so much here, but everywhere else there were just places where it broke up and it kind of pushed the other colors out and uh, I had to try to save what I could. Um, I don't have a photograph of the dried result when it, it dried badly, but um, uh, what I do have after this is there's a short little clip of me tweaking it after it's wet and um, I think there's a wet result as well. And then of course, this is the finished result. And I'll show you a close-up flyby on this uh, towards the end. Uh, and after I poured this one, I did uh, a smaller one. This is a 16 by 20. The next one was, I believe, 11 by 16. And then there were two other little ones that I just, you know, just played and did something with the leftover paint. And all of them uh, had some trouble with the uh, the prison pour. And um, so I had to touch it up on some of them. And uh, the smaller one from this, I have not, uh, I haven't started to refurbish it yet. I haven't gotten to that. It's going to take several hours to do. But uh, I will show you that at a later date. At any rate, um, I'll show you the little wet result in a couple of seconds. See you then. So before we get on to viewing the, uh, the little bit of video I have and the wet and dry results um, for this one, uh, the smaller one that I've done on it, like I said before, I haven't gotten to that yet. That'll be a separate video. I do want to show you the other two smaller ones that I did with the same colors. Uh, I just had a bunch of leftover colors. With this one, uh, I just started pouring the colors and tilting back and forth. Uh, you might be able to see a little bit of, let's see, of texture through here. This is where the prism pour purple started to separate a little. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Anyway, that's all I really did is uh, hand painted that beautiful purple color back in again and a few little minor embellishments here and there. Uh, I have not varnished these two yet. I'll probably just leave this one as it is and varnish it, but I was thinking of embellishing something over it, an animal or something, but uh, I haven't quite decided yet. And this one, this is all from the drippings of these paintings. They were on the piddle pad and I simply put the canvas down like that and tapped it and rubbed very gently and lifted it up this way, which created these I know they look like little fire shapes. Um, and part of it had a bald spots in it. So the rest of these, some of them are scoop and drags from the same drippings. And I kind of enhanced some of the lines a little bit. Um, and I haven't varnished this one yet because I'm thinking of using a paint pen, you know, maybe just along the bottom things here to embellish it and do something a little more interesting, maybe with gold and white or whatever. Anyway, I wanted you to see those uh, before we get on to 
the rest of the video. So I'll see you in a second. Bye. So here this is, all dried and varnished. And it's a sunny day today, instead of raining, like it's been doing. So you can see how beautiful that gold is and how that shimmers through it. Uh, there's also copper. Uh, that is the prism pour purple through here that I repainted, hand painted that in. Since I had trouble with it uh, breaking up. Anyway, uh, no harm done. It's a little different, as you could probably tell from the uh, original, but uh, it, I think it came out beautifully well. Uh, time well worth spent to do the hand painting. I just love the color palette in there. It's so pretty. And you can see some other little blue sparkles in there. That's the unicorn spit, the blue unicorn spit that I put in the background paint. So it's very subtle unless you get a light on it. And then that's when you can see the blue sparkles in it. Anyway. I'm very happy with how it came out. I think it's beautiful. So there you have it. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me, even without my initial uh, video uh, that I didn't take. So you all take care and be well and be happy. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.